I would just uh, give an overview of what we have tried, where we have failed, and what do we expect from the community. So that is how uh, we have placed these slides. So initially, I would like to give the context of India. Okay, so without understanding that, uh, it would be difficult to go inside the uh, why mesh networks have not grown till now and what is the scope for it in the future. Okay, so we, uh, India is a very huge country. Uh, it is not that the southern part is different from the northern part and uh, it is the central part of India is different. So I would be majorly telling my experiences from the southern part of India but there are some commonalities which underrun with entire India. So if you take in the other countries, say you have a well-grown network, well-grown internet network, but in India you have say around uh, 40 to 45 percentage of the population which is connected to the internet. So that comes the primary question whether you ask for internet or for a decentralized internet. Okay, so that was the primary question which uh, for which we should fight for. So initially we thought asking for internet for everybody was the right question. Okay, so this is the, and we have a very high urban rural skewness. Okay, so even if I say that there is a, a 40 percentage of penetration of internet, you need to know in which part of the country it is penetrated. Okay, so most of the times it might be penetrated in the urban areas. So this is the context in which you need to see the uh, stuff. And these are some basic stats. These are some basic stats. So the, if you see the number of internet users, it might be humongous. It might be huge. But the percentage is relatively low. Okay, that is one context. And the speed of the internet, the average speed of the internet, uh, you can never, if, if I try to explain that, okay fine it will take one or two minutes for a video to stream people can't understand it but that is the case wherein you still have uh, ADSL nets okay so that that is how it works so this is the context in which you need to uh, look into it sometimes we look at say why the mesh networks have not grown there what is the reason for that okay fine so but that, that, that is the context in which you need to look into it okay now going into it we ha uh, so regarding our free software movements, we go to colleges, we say that, okay, fine, the uh, uh, proprietary model is not fair, we need to move to uh, proper alternatives. Okay, fine, we do that. And apart from that, say we have some community computing initiatives wherein the people from the local communities, they form a small community under this. this. Uh, and off late, since the uh, internet has grown, you have a lot number of uh, laws which are dealing with surveillance, which uh, then again your uh, intrusion of privacy. We have these kind of stuffs, and we ha we also have this issue of uh, net neutrality in India. As so if somebody has followed the debate in India, you could have known that we had a very big fight in India. I will come to it. So the first case was. This was the one. In 2012 and 2013, we had a very big uh, fight against this uh, surveillance law which we had. Okay, that was the time when we thought that, okay, fine, if everything is with the hands of ISPs, where do we stand? Okay, we never thought that, uh, till that point of time, we never had a really big discussion about a decentralized internet or what is the problem with the ISPs. But at that point of time, we had the issue with the ISPs that the particular issue was solved. The, the law was taken down by the uh, court, but still the question of who uh, actually holds the control of the internet still was uh, ringing in our minds. Say somebody told that, okay, fine, you use a tar, that's fine, but that doesn't solve the entire issue. Okay, you, you don't create an alternative. tar. You bypass everything and you go, okay, fine. But still, we, we had the uh, fight to be fought. Then, okay, fine, this, this was a relatively fine battle. The actual battle 
was for the net neutrality. Okay, in uh, US and in uh, the other European states, the fight was actually between uh, who is getting the fast lane and who is getting the slow lane. Okay, but over there, uh, that was an entirely different fight. There was a, the startups had the issue, the free software movements had the issue, and this primarily came when Facebook inter uh, introduced something called as uh, internet.org. Okay, that was the time when we seriously thought uh, there is something wrong with the uh, architecture which we are looking into it. So we, we badly needed an alternative. We wanted to look for uh, the various alternatives and you cannot build an alternative uh, down the night. So you need to discuss with the people, you need to think of what is the alternative. Whether you go, to, go for a decentralized stuff or you entirely go for a peer-to-peer -peer stuff, we have all those discussions. So with this uh, net neutrality debate, the entire architecture of our thinking started changing. So we, 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 we streamlined our thought, say, how the next internet, on what internet are we going to fight for? So this was where we started it. And then we had very, very many questions. I will show you the discussions, uh, say whether it is going to be a purely a technical question or it is going to be a techno-political question or uh, should the state uh, be involved in it. Well, there were a large range of questions. The, most of them were technical, some were political, some were social. We had a large, large range of questions. And in the midst, midst of this, there was something specific which happened. Uh, in Chennai, that is in the Tamil Nadu area which we, I am from, we had a floods in 2015. So many of you might know the uh, floods over here. But this flood, it cu entirely cut out the communication for three days. Okay, but there was one ISP who was able to provide the service even with that situation. There was no power, no other communication services, but there was one ISP provider, that is the state ISP provider called as BSNL, he was able to provide it. But uh, BSNL, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, it is the state-owned ISP, he was able to provide it. With, with everything, every private player cut down, he was able to provide it. But the problem was that had we had some nodes up, we could have easily said that I am, I am, at least I am safe or we need help. But it, it was not there. So uh, we both had the theoretical foundation for fighting uh, for alternate internet and as well as the uh, practical issue. So after this, I would say, uh, Okay, I have three more minutes. So this is the, uh, and even in this, we had a lot of debates. So how are we going to document stuff? Okay, we document stuff in a platform called as Crabgrass. I hope people know it. This is the place where we uh, actually document it. Even for this, we had a lot of debates. So if you say we are going to use a decentralized stuff, what are we going to use? So at last we zeroed in on uh, Crabgrass, which is provided by uh, RiseUp. It is a nice platform. Uh, if somebody has tried it uh, or not tried it, you should actually try it. So we document all our stuffs in Crabgrass. You can see what we have done, what we have planned to do. And there are, uh, so since it's in the budding stage, we discuss among ourselves a lot. So we didn't have an idea of whether to go for Batman or OLSR or QMP. We didn't have a, a say, QMP is, has Batman within it, but still, we didn't have an idea of what to go. So, but at last we went with Batman. So if somebody is interested, you can just go here and you can see how the discussion start in a budding community. So this was regarding Pondicherry. Okay? Uh, and the other stuff is Chennai. Oh, here, that is the same case. Oh, here, that is the same case. Uh, we have started it. We build, so just like that, we build a Yagi antenna. I will show you how the, it is a do it yourself Yagi antenna. We, we tried it. We have made two nodes up in Pondicherry. That is, that is the entirely team which is present in Pondicherry has done it. So they have been able to do these stuffs. And 
what i wanted to uh, bring to the end of the presentation was if somebody is able to clarify these kind of questions what is our expectation from the community which has grown a lot say somebody from frying funk or somebody from alta mundi or somebody from network bogota if they are able to tell what are the uh, stuffs in which they can help us say we have these many issues so even for choosing a wireless device we have lot of debates okay uh, if somebody can help us what are the wireless devices we can uh, they can help what are the antennas which we can prefer say uh, how do you handle the interference problems that would be good because we need to do a 10 to 15 hours of search and then we need to debate among ourselves to come to a conclusion though it's good it would be nice if we get some inputs then the the, the fourth one is very important because how do you uh, bring a new people or the naive people into the mesh network say technologists or somebody who is driven by the uh, idea it's fine but how do you bring in new people so this has been our question the the next question is how do you generate the fund okay fine these, these kind of questions uh, that's why i said the context first these kind of questions may not be even on the radar for many communities okay you might we might uh, in the night we might say please ship it and in the morning we might get it but it's it's somewhat different uh, it's it's a different uh, context altogether over there so how do you get the sources for uh, your antennas or for your uh, uh, say routers or if something else is needed how do you get it so this is the context over there so then what are the peer to peer applications or services which you would like to deploy what are the options say yesterday uh, leonardo told me that you try to do a ice cast plus mix that's good okay fine so if somebody else is ready to i'm done last slide last slide if somebody else is ready to do that it would be good so these are the other stuffs which we have so if if anybody is ready to help us in this say you take this path you it, it can even end in a failure we are ready to uh, do a um, say test it fail it find it test it that's all if anybody is able to uh, help in this it would be good so that's it thank you for the opportunity